I was diagnosed in 1994 with IBS, and the doctors at that time basically told me that there was nothing they could do for me and I would have to just live with it. IBS is very intrusive. It interrupts your daily life. It's all you think about is what, what's going to happen if I go out to eat or if I'm going shopping, anything you plan on doing. It all revolves around IBS. I enrolled in the UB IBS study program in the middle of 2006. The programs changed my life significantly. I don't worry about if I'm going out to dinner with friends or my husband, if I'm going to have an episode at the time. I don't let it run my life anymore. It's pretty much gone for me. The Behavioral Medicine Clinic at the University of Buffalo runs the Irritable Bowel Syndrome Outcome Study. The IBSOS is the largest clinical trial for IBS that the federal government has ever awarded. Treatment lasts 10 weeks. Treatment is free. We have every reason to believe that patients are able to maintain their treatment gains over a long period of time. Treatments that we feature in the outcome study include practical skills training such as muscle relaxation training, learning techniques to cope more effectively with realistic stressors that aggravate symptoms, learning to challenge and dispute thinking patterns that can aggravate symptoms, and also learning a lot more about what IBS is and strategies for taking control of them. The behavioral medicine program has achieved success for many individual patients and offers hope for them when they feel they have not had success with other approaches. When it was recommended to me that I go to the behavioral medicine clinic, I was skeptical. Nothing was working up to this point. I started showing symptoms of irritable bowel in roughly the fall of 1995. Problems were many, solutions were few. I was not comfortable in my own skin. I constantly was feeling ill. Um, just basically sat around and felt bad for myself. I called the doctor constantly. It uh, turned into frequent sick days at work. And I, I, need, I needed a change for the better. And that's when I decided to go to the behavioral medicine clinic. Before seeing Dr. Lackner, I had become worrisome about going out for fear of having symptoms. I would schedule my life around these so-called flare-ups. I'm an avid fisherman. I would be uh, apprehensive to go fishing for fear of a flare-up. After seeking treatment, the first thing I do is grab my fishing pole, going to concerts, being in public. It's something that I can enjoy. I recommend it to anyone in it works in more facets of my life than I thought it was even possible.